सो टूडे टॉपिक इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग अपस्टेक क्लास वर्सेस इंटरफेस इट इज अ वेरी कंफ्यूजिंग टॉपिक ओवर द इंटरनेट यूजली पीपल आर नॉट एबल टू टेक द डिसीजन वेयर टू यूज अपस्टेक क्लास एंड वेयर टू यूज इंटरफेस इन टूडे वीडियो आई विल ट्राई टू क्लियर द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द अपस्टेक क्लास एंड इंटरफेसेस इवन आई विल टेल यू द यूज केसेस वेयर इंटरफेसेस यू शुड यूज वेयर अपस्टेक क्लासेस यू शुड यूज If you are coming to the channel first time, I request to everyone please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon. So let's start with the video. Abstract class. Abstract class is a special type of class which cannot be instantiated. It means the abstract class object we cannot create. Abstract class always act as a base class or you can say the parent class for other classes. So from abstract class we can derive the another class and usually. Uh, we create the abstract class whenever there is a requirement to share the common functionality between two classes if you look at in this example we created here abstract class for the bank account and in the bank we having the different types of account we having the saving account we having the current account and we having the loan account as well and this picture i'm taking the example of only two accounts over here so so both the account having the common properties let's say account id account balance interest rate service charge uh, withdraw count and we having the calculate interest so if you be look at in this picture we having a withdraw method this withdraw method having the different implementation for the saving account having a different implementation for the current account so abstract class we create whenever we are willing to create the abstract as well as non abstract method and what are the method you have declare as an abstract in the abstract class it is mandatory to implement in the drive class so in the saving account and in the current account we are implementing the withdraw method which is the part of this bank account abstract class now the question is here when to use abstract class so abstract class you should use whenever you are willing to share the common behavior between the multiple classes and those classes might be having some behavior which they are implementing in their own way the the most popular and the best would example is here of bank account in the bank account we having the different different types of loan account so we having the the best example is here bank account so in the bank we having the different types of account we having the current account we having the saving account we having the loan account and if you look at all these accounts having the common properties account number we have the customer id we having the address we having the contact number so these things we can share among all these accounts but they having the different way of address they they having the different way of calculating the things so those method these classes can implement as per their requirement so in simple language whenever you are willing to create the multiple version of your component or class that time you should use the abstract class so in this example we are going to create the multiple version of the bank account so these are the current account saving account and loan account interface in c sharp now let's understand what are the interface so interface act as a contract for a class or a structure which is going to implement it here so interface never act as a parent class as a abstract class act or as a regular class act so interface always act as a contract so whenever a class or a structure is implementing an interface so what are the members we have specified in the interface that class has to implement it is just like the the contract between two parties so what are the contract they signed they have to follow if there is a change in the contract there is a always dispute between the two parties similar way here when you are going to change the interface members are like interface methods what will happen that implementary class are like implementer structures start showing the error so when you will add a new method if that method you have not implemented in the drive in the implementary class you will start getting the error that is the same thing what are the contract the two parties sign with each other if there is a change in the contract there is always dispute between the parties same thing is here so interface never act as a parent class it just like the abstract class act even the interface having only the member declaration 
and implicitly every member of an interface is public and abstract. So explicitly you don't need to make the member of an interface as public and abstract and it cannot have the non-abstract members. All the members of the interface are implicitly abstract and public. Now let's understand the interface by the help of an example. Let's say there is a requirement of logging the activity or you can say logging the user activity. So what is happening here? We having a logger and we for the logger we can have the console log and we having the file log. That means either we can log the activity into the console, either we can log the activity into the into the file. So it can be a text file. So what we can do here for implementing the this thing, what I can do here I can create a ilog interface and there I can declare a log method. And this log method will have the different implementation for logging it on the console and it will have a different implementation for logging the activity into the file. So we having two classes here console log class which is also implementing the ilog interface and we having the file log class which is also implementing the ilog interface. So this is the example we are using here how we can implement the ilog interface into the console log class and into the file log class. Now the question is here when to use interface. So you should use interface to group the object based upon the common behaviors as we do in the service round architecture like WCF. Even whenever you are willing to provide the more abstract view to a model which is unchangeable because the contract is always unchangeable. So whenever there is a requirement to provide the more abstract view to a model that interface are the well and good. So if you will look at whenever there is a requirement uh, to provide the different services to your client, to your customer. So there interface are the well suited. So that's why in the service round architecture when we are using the WCF, there we prefer to use interface. Even the interface are helpful to create the loosely coupled components which are easy to maintain and pluggable. So if there is a requirement whenever you are willing to create the loosely coupled components and on the runtime you can provide the implementation of the interface with the help of dependency injection there also interface will help you. So that's why when we are going to implement the dependency injection in our application or to create the loosely coupled components of the system their interface help us. The example of loose coupling is let's say you are having a payment gateway API so that payment gateway purpose what you can do you can create an interface and you can define the your implementation based upon the payment gateway because nowadays what is happening in a single website we are using the multiple payment gateway so you can have the pay you money you can have the paypal you can have the paytm but ultimately all the payment gateway are doing the same thing so what you can do here you can define a interface for receiving the payment from the website and based upon the payment gateway that payment method will have the different implementation so this is about the interface you should know. So just remember one thing, interface always act as a contract. They never act as a parent. Interface versus abstract class. Now let's understand the difference between the interface and abstract class. So interface act as a contract for a class. So contract is just like we having the agreement between two parties. If there is any change in the agreement, you can say if there is any change in the contract. So there is always dispute between the parties. Similar way if you will change the interface so whatever that class which is implementing the interface that has to either implement the newly added methods and like what are the changes you have done into the existing method so class has to follow. So there is always contract but of the class always act as a parent and parent is a strict parent because the strict parent having the few rules and regulation that every child has to follow. Similar way we having the abstract class. So they having the abstract method as well as non abstract method. So when you will look at the interface. So in interface we having the only member declaration and implicitly every member is public and abstract in the interface. So explicitly you don't need to define any member in the interface as public and abstract. But in abstract class we can have the abstract member as well as non abstract member and the non abstract member can be the private, public and protected. In the interface, we cannot have the constant members, we cannot have the constructor, destructor, instance variable, 
static members even we cannot define a nested interface also so these things are not possible at the interface level but in an abstract class we can have the constant member we can have the constructor we can have the destructor we can have the instance variable a static member and a stack and the nested class also so we having the constructor support in the abstract class because we can create the abstract class object and we can inherit it also in the derived class but the interface object we cannot create so the constructor is not required over there even interface never act as a parent so there is no inheritance between interface and the class so interface provide us the full abstraction so whenever there is a requirement to create a full abstraction you should go ahead with the interface abstract class provide us the partial abstraction because here we have a chance of having the non abstract method so interface you should use whenever you are willing to provide the common functionality to the unrelated classes so that you can create the loosely coupled components which are easy to maintain and plug so whenever there is a requirement to uh, inject the one component in the another one so their interface is helpful because the interface based implementation is easy to plug and play after class you should use over there whenever you are going to create the multiple version of your component to provide the default behavior as well as common behavior that the derived class can share and override as per their requirement so here we having the things like we are willing to share the common behavior would be in the multiple derived classes and if they are willing to override them they can also override and they can also share so these points you should understand between the interface and the abstract class so they are different from each other they are not exactly the same and one more thing you should understand here interface we never use for implementing the multiple inheritance at the class level but if there is a interface to interface inheritance so there is always a inheritance a uh, one more thing you should understand about the interface and abstract class interface to class there is always implementation there is no inheritance but interface to interface there is a inheritance so interface cannot be used to implement the multiple inheritance at the class level but they can be used to implement the multiple inheritance at the interface level so this point should be clear where the multiple inheritance is coming at the interface level and where the multiple implementation is coming at the class level